Good morning YouTube. As you've probably gathered from the thumbnail, I'm here in Santa Lalia. And yeah, it's just another daily vlog. I'm on the bridge. Does anyone know it? It's lovely down here. Gonna start the day with a quick breakfast at Project Social. If you watch the videos, you'll know that that's my favorite place to go when I'm over this side. And then we'll have a couple of meetings and see how the day goes. As I said, it is one of my favorite places to come in Santa Elalia. I do come here in the mornings when I come over and get that first bit of breakfast. Um, the place accommodates for big groups. There's a big group over there at the moment, so I don't want to invade their privacy. Um, and obviously small groups as well. And the most amazing thing about this place, it is really reasonably priced. You can get like a good smoothie and a good breakfast for around 15 euros or less, um, all in. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to do next. I think I will take a walk back into Santa Lalia. We'll go down around the beaches, maybe down towards the W Hotel, Rio Mar, cross the bridge, have a look around. And like I said, this is a daily vlog, so let's see what happens. So there you have it. We're going to take a walk down towards the harbour and see what's going down around there. I forgot how much I miss Santa Lalia. I was over here the other night. I had some food, but we weren't making a vlog. So we'll take a walk round to the harbour, see what boats are on show look at some things that I can't afford maybe one day so drop a comment and the more comments maybe we will we'll break YouTube one day hopefully in the future here comes the money some incredible boats there on offer that I won't be having anytime soon but it is a stunning day it is the first of June it is good to be back good to be back with the daily vlogs and I hope you will enjoy this next month it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one it's gonna be a hard one I messed up yesterday because my uh, motorbike broke down but you can forgive me for that I do put a lot of pressure under myself to make one video each day whilst trying to do some work and uh, trying to do meetings and that but it is what it is I've got a lot more confidence now don't really care what anybody thinks just continue uh, rolling as we do this looks good obviously it's really early so if you're thinking why are the restaurants quiet just gone past 11 a.m. Oh, here's a really nice boat. Hopefully nobody's gonna be bothered about me showing it. Oh, that's beautiful. And yeah, you've got Calabasa Beach Club restaurant over there in the distance. So yeah, we'll go back onto the promenade and have a walk towards the Rio Mar Hotel and W Hotel, as I mentioned before. And uh, yeah, let's see what's going down. There seems to be plenty of people about so far, but uh, this restaurant here, I always say it in the vlogs, this is from Kevin and Perry. Remember he's dead upstairs. So if you're ever wondering where that is, that's the restaurant there. That's the apartment there. You're not my fellow DJ. Just curious as to how many people have watched these vlogs have been to Santa Lalia. Just think back two years ago, there wasn't one person on the street, and now it's just all hustle and bustle. It's amazing just to hear all those different uh, languages. It's 
predominantly Dutch around here at the moment. That's what I'm picking up on. I did meet a really nice gentleman from Washington DC. If you're watching the video, it was lovely to meet you. He took a picture um, and he was telling me how he, I think he said he was inspired by the vlogs to then move over here. So um, I forget his name, but if you're watching, do drop me a message. Uh, we'll catch up one day. It's lovely to meet you. So yeah, we're just approaching the sort of W Hotel Chiringuito Blue area and then I'll continue the time lapse now. Just approaching the Rio Mar Hotel as I mentioned. If you have watched my vlogs before and previous ones from Santillalia last summer, uh, I stayed here, which is an incredible hotel. And then uh, I'll wrap it up, I'll have a couple of meetings now, and then I'll come back to the vlog. So it has been a lovely couple of hours in Santa Lalia. I will be back a lot more as of the next few weeks as always. Uh, it's just that I had to pop over. I thought I'd take a walk around town, show you the vibe in June. Um, I'm going to make my way into Ibiza town now because I have another meeting. As I said, a lot of you are asking to see the new Pisces Hotel. Um, so I'm going to go and have a meeting with the guys and see if we can come up to the plan where I can make a nice video of the hotel and show you the, the hotel. as. It is, it's insane, you, you should see it. So hopefully that'll be in the next few days. Friday, uh, I'll be at Ushuaia for Calvin Harris opening. That'll be an interesting vlog. Um, can't wait for that actually, that's gonna be a really big show. And yeah, we'll just uh, continue rolling today and see where it goes. I have called this video Santa Lalia because <coughs> for the most part, I'm gonna be here. So I've just got to Ibiza town. Um, seems to be a lot of construction going on. Bit of a weird time to be doing so much construction though, 1st of June. All the roads are dug up. Um, seems to be all the way up, I'm not sure what's going on. So I'll take a little walk in, I've done all my meetings now, so I am free agent for the day. Um, and then we'll probably go back into San Antonio. Ah, we'll go this way. So I've got a really good tip for a really good chicken restaurant, um, which is based in Ibiza. I don't think you can get them anywhere else in the world. So if you're looking for chicken, that's the place to go. Since I'm in town, I'll take a little walk up towards Dalvilla. I'm not going until the top because I will be gasping for air in this heat. Really is quite incredible. Obviously the streets, oh, we nearly fell. Streets are quite quiet at the moment. It is only early, it is still quite early. Do you know when you're wearing flip-flops and uh, your feet sweating and you just keep slipping and you're going up a big hill? That's exactly how I feel now. We'll go and have a look at the view. Hopefully be able to fill this up a little bit. As I said, I'm doing this for you. I don't want to walk up to the top. So we'll see what the view is like from here. Still all right. We'll make our way back down because I've got bits and bobs to do. But yeah, look at that for a view. So it's quite surreal 
to be here in the daytime and see people because I don't usually be here. This street's obviously chock a blocked at night time. But think back like two years ago, it was only me and the boys kicking a football around here. And now there's people. That's enough of Beatha Town for now. I will be back, of course, doing plenty of videos. Uh, I have Factor 50 on, but it's no good when it's dripping in your eyes. Um, it is scorching today. Couple of nice boats. None of the big yachts have arrived just yet, or at least I've missed them. Um, strange to get just so used to people again, especially in the daytime. Obviously, the last two years, if you've been watching my videos, you'll remember. Me and the boys walking around here are just completely empty towns. Ah, oh, so good to finally feel it coming back to life. We are on the 1st of June. It's my birthday in two weeks. I might recreate my birthday vlog from last year, that was a laugh. And yeah, we'll make our way back into San Antonio, I suppose. Probably finish with a sunset. Maybe go to Golden Buddha. So stay tuned, I hope you have been enjoying this one. As I said, I'm trying to do these all, all day, every day. Um, but trying not to go out of my way to do the vlog just kind of piece together when I'm having meetings going around the island So I hope you have enjoyed this one and let's go back to San Antonio